Hi, my name is TJ Singh and I'm the SIG product specialist at ENM in Southern California. Today, I'll talk to you about the features of the new UC40 ultrasonic sensor from SIG. The UC40 comes with a lot of loaded features. Firstly, it's got a detection range of up to 5 meters. You also get special features such as adjusting the sound cone as well as interference echo suppression which is a great unique feature where you can actually see through objects if you have interference in your detection path and I will showcase it in the demo later on. The UC40 also have different output options such as digital, analog as well as IO-Link and with the new diagnostics with the LED feature you can actually see what the sensor sees that helps you in alignment. The UC40 also comes with integrated temperature compensation and IO-Link capabilities which allow you to have full diagnostic capabilities especially for predictive maintenance and lastly what makes it really unique is the lock-in mechanism which is push to lock-in that makes it an easy fit for all your applications. Let's do a quick software demo so you can see how easy it is to configure this device. All right, so I have connected the sensor with my computer right now through IO-Link with our SI-Link box. And this is the interface that you get uh, in the very beginning. So on the left side, you have some status information with device information underneath it, uh, getting all the serial numbers, uh, other hardware details. and. Uh, if you click on the measurement data history, you can actually get uh, a live feedback of what the sensor is seeing right now. And on the right side, you get the output. So you have Q1, Q2, and uh, if you're not using IOLink, you can also get analog over it. And uh, the quality of the measurement. So you get signal level and stability, and we can obviously uh, get a cleaner signal once we make some adjustments, but you do have a visual view of it. So on the left side, if you click on this setting tab, you get basic settings. And once we click here, this is where the magic happens. So uh, it's divided in two columns. The left one shows you what the sensor is seeing right now. And on the right side, you have features such as putting filters and uh, some other suppression tools. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you what the sensor sees um, in a graphical format. Let me scroll down. Uh, if you see visualization, so this is the actual depiction of the cone itself, the sound cone. And if you look here, this line with my cursor at 400 millimeter, this is what the sensor is seeing right now. So I can also do like just a plate field or like a raw or we can also do a 2D view, where if I put my hand in, you will see that the signal either gets lost or it sees it right here. Okay, so now the really cool part about the sensor is that it has something called uh, interference echo suppression. What it means is that you can modify the, the uh, sound cone itself. And I will show you here. In this demo, I have a pack of uh, tea, which I have kept in the path of the sound wave. And I have this box, which I'm trying to detect. So now in uh, normal circumstances, obviously it's very difficult for the sensor to see through it. But what happens here is that if I click on interference echo suppression, and I can obviously have different areas for uh, creating the suppression, but I just need to activate it. So let's say I do it 30%. So when I do 30%, you'll see in the very beginning, uh, the sound cone becomes really uh, small. And as I go further down, it becomes smaller. Now the benefit of this is that I should be able to detect the box now, but if I don't see it right now, then I have to go uh, lower. But see, I'm already detecting it, and you can visually see it in the software as well as uh, in the camera where I'm moving the box. And if I make it to deactivate it, you will see that it will have issues detecting it. 
and now it's actually detecting this thing here at that level you see right there and the signal is not clear for it so you can see with 70 percent the, the sound cone is really narrow and i can clearly see the box right and if i have it at deactivated then obviously i'll have difficulties with it because it's going to just pick up this uh, t-pack and uh, further you can go in here if you go to output evaluation what you can see here is uh, you have uh, on the right side different uh, teach-in options so you can do a single point teach-in window teach-in and once you select what kind of teaching you want you can press on the teach button here and then you can also see what the value is going to be assigned to so it's pin number four here and you have analog value which can be assigned to pin two and uh, that's pretty much it in terms of uh, the software thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me at the email provided on the screen thank you